All right, we're going to use the louver this time, and I'm going to create a couple of different places to put this louver in. So I'm going to go to New Conceptual Mass, Start 1, and I'm going to go to my Level 1. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and stay in my 3D view, and I'm going to make a copy of the Level 1, and just by selecting it, holding down the Control key, and copying it up, and let's just copy it up 60 feet. Okay, so now I have two levels, horizontal levels. So I'm going to go to my level one, and I'm going to come in a little bit, zoom in, and I'm going to go to reference, and I'm going to draw a center ends arc. So it's going to start with the center, and I'm going to go to one end, and then I'm just going to sweep around and go to the other end and just lock it. Okay, then I'm going to do another one of those, and I'm going to put this one on level two, so it'll be a little bit higher. And we'll pick that arc, and we'll start at the center, move out, and swing around, and lock that guy. Now we could also put parameters on these, so I could come in and, you know, make those dimensions permanent by picking the that, and then, you know, add a parameter to this, so I could add a parameter, call it are large, All right? And then I can add a parameter to this, call it R small. Click OK. Now if I go into my 3D view, right, I've got these two arcs. I can pick them and go to create form, and it's going to create a surface for me there. Now I can go in and adjust, of course, the radii of those. So let's say I wanted my small radius to equal 0.5, or actually, how about 0.4 times r large? Okay, oh, maybe 0.25. We'll make it a little smaller. All right, okay, and click OK. So now, anytime I've change the this r large so if i were to change that to 70 and hit ok then both of those would update now i can go in and i can pick that and i can divide that surface right and we created a couple of different louvers we're going to do the curved louver on this one and um, basically what i want is to be able to pick five points along here so i'm going to select this I'm going to go to my surface representation, turn on my nodes, click OK, and we'll take a look at, like, what if we went down to 4 on that? Maybe we want to stay at 12 on that one, and this is the one that we want to go to 4 on. So that gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points. And so what we want to do is go ahead and open up our louver curved, and you'll see that that's a 5 point curved louver and we'll go ahead and load that into project and it's going to want to come in and it wants you to place the points and i prefer to be in a 3d view so i'm going to go to my 3d view and then i can come in and go one two three four and five and so now i have that louver on there and I can pick that and go to my modify and divide and repeat, right? And it'll repeat that louver along that particular division. Now, I could come in again, and if I tab select and get down to my divided surface, I could come in and say, oh, I want those louvers to be, you know, more, occur more often. So I could say 20, right? And it would give me that many more louvers. I could also select those louvers and go to edit type and I could say well I've only got one type here I'm going to duplicate it and we'll name it louver curve 2 and we'll give an angle of how about 15 degrees and a louver width of we'll make it really deep so maybe six maybe eight feet and hit OK right and it'll update those and if they're that deep then we probably don't need them to occur that often. So we could pick that and change that 20 to 10. 
right? And of course, the way that you could test that is to turn on your sun's path and your shadows. And so you could see, you know, how much shade is getting through there at a particular time of day and really test that, right? So you could go in and adjust it and say, well, let's take a look at that. Go to edit type. Maybe eight feet's too much. What if we did five feet and apply? And then you're actually getting quite a bit of sun in there. You could go in and say, well, I really like the five foot louvers, but I think what I want is to make them occur more often. So you could tab select in, pick that, and let's see, well, does it make a big difference if we go to 12? It does really. So if you control Z, change that to, to 10, right? And maybe 15 is a little bit better. And then it is completely in shade at that time. All right, so you can test those out. Uh, when I come back, we'll do a couple more.